Mayor, now in the meantime, alam natin, the things are still fluid, notwithstanding some optimistic signs that you're, you're, you're seeing. Saan po kayo kumikiling ngayon pagdating sa usapin ng May 15 and, and, and beyond May 15? I, with what you're observing, not just in San Juan, but in the rest of Metro Manila, saan po kayo kumikiling pagdating sa tanong ng is it time to start considering lifting uh, and adjusting the ECQ? Ako personally, no, I, can, I can answer for San Juan. Of course, yung ibang LGU, meron silang iba-ibang sitwasyon. No? Pero ako for San Juan, uh, nakita ko na gumagana yung ECQ. At uh, ang tagal na rin naman natin nagsakripisyo, di ba? Natutor na naman tayo mag-adjust. Kita naman natin na pwede naman maging disiplinadong lahat, lalong-lalo na pag alam nila na yung buhay nila nakasalalay. So for me, honestly, uh, if we see that the numbers are dropping and uh, this drop will be sustainable, ako ayokong masyadong maaga na i-lift yung ECQ sapagat baka masayang lang yung uh, halos isang buwan at kalahating pinaghirapan nating lahat. You know, all of these sacrifices, itong walang trabaho, itong araw-araw uh, tayo magpapadala ng food box sa ating mga constituents, all of these efforts can, uh, can the, go down the drain uh, simply because we lift it too early. So, ako, uh, since we're all here already, ginagawa na rin naman natin lahat to, halos nag-adjust na naman tayo, alam kong mahirap, ngunit uh, ako in the end, uh, life over economy, no? Ako, ang economy, mapabawi at mababawi mo naman yan eh, uh, pagkatapos, no? Ngunit uh, pag tayo magkasakit, yung mga, yung mga may uh, prone na, na mahawa ng COVID, yung mga may comorbid, yung mga senior citizens, no? Uh, we have to think about them because uh, it's not just about uh, jump-starting the businesses once again, but it's about ensuring that everyone uh, will remain uh, healthy. And uh, that is my personal uh, opinion. So we will see by May 15 if uh, the numbers uh, continue to drop, but still not at a level that we can safely say that uh, we can live with them. I believe we just have to continue. Yeah. Here, yeah. Here. Namin, Mayor. Uh, positive yeah. ba? Kasi yung ibang cities, yung halimbawa, may ibang cities sa ibang bansa nagre-request ng extension ng CQ. Eh. So are you saying it's possible for you to request an extension? Kung sakasakali na by May 15, hindi pa kayo masyadong komportable. Siyempre, ako, ako parati naman akong... Uh, uh, sumusunod ko ano yung directive sa atin ng national government. No? But if I feel that uh, the directive will be counterproductive to our city, then uh, of course I will always fight for what I believe my city will need. So titingnan natin yan, dapat extend o hindi. But we will rely on uh, statistics. No? Hindi pwedeng, alam yan, hindi pwedeng uh, subjective decision. You have to have uh, statistics to back up your your recommendation to the national government. Mm. But Mayor, what are the indicators for you that will make you uh, push for, for example, recommending an extension? Pag talagang uh, nakita natin na tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung uh, pagtaas. No? Kasi like what I said, merong, uh, merong ano eh, downward trend. But uh, another tricky thing there is yung mass testing also. Because right now, mm -hmm. we are testing more people. So yung downward trend, posibleng dahil hindi lang sila na-test pa. Yeah. Diba? Hindi dahil uh, pababa na talaga, pero dahil hindi lang sila na-test pa. So titingnan din natin, no? since nagsimulan din po tayo ng ating uh, mass testing, we will see uh, the, the data of uh, from the time that we started our mass testing compared to the time that we haven't. And uh, we will analyze kung uh, indeed the uh, nagsistabilize ba, pababa ba, or tataas ulit. Uh, we have to also see kung ano nangyari sa ibang bansa. No? Uh, Singapore, for instance, uh, ang ganda ng simula nila, uh, palagi kung masyado silang nagkumpiyansa ng maaga, naglift sila ng ECQ nila, ano nangyari? Bumalik ngayon yung, uh, yung COVID-19, naka-second wave. Yeah.